For this year's Easter message, I'm filming at Lawned Abbey. You'll see the statue of the welcoming Christ behind me. It's been repositioned here in the gardens of Lawned. And in a moment or two, Bishop Sadhu will bring a message of Easter hope. But first of all, I wanted to say a huge thank you to everyone who has welcomed me in the name of the welcoming Christ as I've journeyed round the diocese on my Lent pilgrimage. It's been an extraordinary experience as I visited nearly 90 churches across the county and the city and as people have shown me extraordinarily hospitality. Everywhere I've been, I've been warmly welcomed and people have been only too eager to tell me the story of their church, both in terms of the history of the building and the area, but also in terms of what God is doing among them today. It's been a great encouragement to me and a real tonic in a time of considerable challenge to be reminded of what the risen Christ is doing among us at this time. Throughout Jesus' ministry, he foretold his death, but reassured his disciples that he would conquer death and be with them to the very end of the age. So it's fascinating to me that none of Jesus' male disciples visit the tomb that Sunday seeking the risen Lord Jesus. The women who go to anoint the body certainly don't expect to meet the risen Lord Jesus. That seems strange to me. Why? Why didn't any of them say, hey, it's a third day. He said he would rise on the third day. Maybe we should go and have a look at Jesus' tomb. One writer put it this way. The resurrection is as inconceivable for the first disciples, as impossible for them to believe, as it is for many of us today. We're here talking about an impossible story. That's impossible. That's impossible is writ large on the pages of scripture. In an impossible situation in Genesis, the question is raised, is anything too hard for the Lord? The prophet Jeremiah addressing another impossible situation when Israel is conquered by Babylon and provides a voice for God is anything too hard for me. Perhaps you find yourself personally in a situation which feels impossible. The climate crisis, the international conflict and increasing poverty in our communities and around the world, issues which seems overwhelming and even hopeless are not hard to find. Indeed, we as bishops have found ourselves in situations which have felt impossible over the past year. Situations where we've needed God's strength and wisdom and the prayers and counsel of others. So we found comfort in the resurrection story and how Jesus finds two disciples walking to Emmaus, disciples who think the game is up, disciples who feel close to giving up and walks alongside them. In their despair, he reveals himself in a new way, in the breaking of bread and companionship on the road. This story invites us to look at the impossible situations from another perspective, in the light of the resurrection. The great mystery of our faith, that Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. We set our light, a living hope on the risen Lord Jesus, who is with us in impossible situations. So we do not lose hearts, for God is able to do far more abundantly than all we ask or think, according to the power at work in us. To him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations, forever and ever. Amen. <laughs>